Right. Problem number 44 of section 2.9 gives us a situation in which we have a bird hovering and bird drops a stick and then flies away horizontally at a velocity of 1.5 feet per second. Uh, now, first part is just to draw a diagram of the situation. So let's mark with a dot here the point at which the bird drops the, drops the stick and bird flies away somewhere over here. We'll say at position um, x of t, and so x of t feet from the point that it dropped the stick in the horizontal dire direction. And the bird is 100 feet above the ground, so we will say that its uh, position in the vertical direction is 100. Okay. Then over here, we've got the stick in free fall. And we'll say that this distance here between uh, the point at which the bird dropped the stick and where the stick is at time t, call that distance y of t. And somewhere down here, we'll have the ground at 100 feet, or 100 feet below the point at which the bird dropped the stick. Now, at any given point t, there's, we're going to associate an angle theta right here, which is going to be the angle between um, the horizontal and the line connecting the stick and the, and the bird. So this is a diagram of all, the, uh, all the information that should be relevant to this problem here. And it should help us out a little bit when we're uh, going on to the next few parts. Now, part B asks us to write an equation for uh, the function y of t. So what's, uh, or rather a position for, or a function for the, for the height of the stick at a given time t. Now, remember that the position of an object in free fall is given by this equation up here on the board, which is 1 half gt squared plus v naught t plus y naught, where y naught is the initial height, so y naught will be 100 in this case, 100 feet. Uh, initial velocity, we're only concerned, in the vertical, concerned about the vertical direction, so the initial velocity is just going to be zero. And g here, we're measuring our units in feet and seconds, so g is going to be minus 32 feet per second. It's the acceleration due to gravity on Earth. So we can use that information to write down a uh, function for the position. Actually, I'm going to rename what our function y of t is here. Uh, I'm going to call this function, or the total, total height of the stick above the ground, y of t. And I'm going to call this y with a little bar over it, t. So y bar is the difference in height and y of t is the actual height of the stick at time t, uh, just so we don't confuse our notation here. So y of t is going to be 1 half times minus 32, or minus 16, t squared, and plus 0, plus y naught, which is the initial height, which is 100 feet. Now, we need to give a function for theta in terms of x and y, where you know, x is a function of t, y is a function of t. And uh, we can use, refer back to our diagram to find this, find this function here. So we're actually going to be interested um, in y bar of t, which is going to be the difference between the height of the stick and uh, the original height of the stick when the bird dropped it, or 100. So the length of this section here, y bar of t, say, in y bar. Uh, so the length of uh, y bar of t is going to be equal to it's going to be 100 minus uh, the height. So 100 minus the quantity negative 16 t squared plus 100. Here the 100s will cancel out 
and we'll just be left with 16t squared. Now, x of t uh, will be the position uh, t seconds, at, the horizontal position of the bird t seconds after the bird drops the stick. Now, we're assuming the bird has constant velocity of 1.5, so the distance is going to be uh, 1.5 times t, which is using the simple distance equals rate times time uh, formula. Now, here we can go back to our diagram. And we see that, well, tangent of theta is going to be opposite over adjacent. So tangent of theta is going to be y bar of t over x of t. We have our position x of t here. So in, uh, take the inverse tangent of both sides. We have that uh, theta will be equal to the inverse tangent of y bar of t over x, bar, x of t. So theta be inverse tangent of 16t squared over 1.5t, which, if you work this out, comes out to inverse tangent of 10.667 t. So here's a function. We can write this um, theta of t because it gives us our angle theta at time t. Now for part d, we want to find the rate of change of the angle with respect to time and evaluate that at t equals 5 seconds. So 5 seconds after the bird drops the stick, how fast is that angle changing? So we recall that function theta of t is equal to inverse tangent of uh, 10.667 t. So the derivative of theta with respect to t is going to be equal to 1 over 1 plus, now here we'll have 10.667t squared, which if we work this out is about 113.78t squared. Now we have a chain rule here, so we'll have to multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is 10.667. So we see that this is the formula for, uh, for the rate of change of the angle at any given time t. And now to find the instantaneous rate of change of the angle with respect to time at t equals 5 seconds, we would simply stick in 5 into this equation. And I'll let you verify the actual, or I'll let you find the actual number for that.